Hey, what's up, guys? Another anatomy video. Um, last time I did epithelial tissue, and I forgot to mention there are two subgroups. Um, might be kind of easy. So one is covering and lining, which is kind of the generic one. Um, and there's all different types. I am not going to do a video on all the different types um, because they're so numerous. And But if you guys want them, just let me know. Um, the next one I think is pretty cool is glandular. Um, glandular, so a gland. Um, what comes to mind for me is kind of a sweat gland. So what is it really? Um, a gland is just kind of a group of cells that is, I guess, more specialized. And because they're more specialized, their function, I don't know if that's a specialized, so their function is secretion. And there are three different varieties that I know of. Um, and we shall get into those quickly. Here we go. So the first one, actually there's three types. So there is, let's see here, I'm looking at my notes. The first one is called marocrine. Mero, marocrine. So merocrine glands are for um, kind of just secreting out of cells. So if here is my cell, generic. Um, bear with me if you haven't taken cell biology and all that jazz. Well, here's a little thing. This is the um, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, S-E-R. And this is for packaging things. Um, and basically this little piece will pinch off and go to the surface and out that package goes and releases, say there's some red stuff in there, whatever, you get the point. And then it would just come out and that would be your product. Oh, I didn't even put Maricron up here, here we go. And so this is just using the cell, um, cell smooth endoplasmic reticulum um, to get things. An example would be, let's think, um, yeah, sa salivary. So salivary. So your saliva, um, I don't know if you know, this contains mostly water and enzymes that's oh, supposed to be an M enzymes um, that break down starch but that's just one example um, so that's merocrine it's basically from the cell cellular level and it makes it an exocytosis if you want that word exocytosis so that's the fancy word that to take home from there. Um, next is called holocrine. Let me write that down before I forget. Holocrine. Oh, goodness. C R I. Sometimes my tablet just can't keep up. Holocrine. Holo, from what I think, is kind of like whole. Bear with me. Whole. So the type of secretion is whole cells. Um, a picture would do us well here. So I'm just going to draw the outline. And basically this whole membrane is just cells. Just a grouping of cells. Remember what we said glandular ET is just a specialized group of cells. See, so these are all cells. Um, and 
when this product, I guess I guess we'll use red since we were using that last time. So these are all filling up with product and stuff. And when it's time to go, this whole cell breaks off with all of its components and goes to the surface. We'll have a fun color. Goes to the surface. And this is kind of, I guess the, I don't know, you don't really know it, but this is what is happening in sebaceous glands. And you might ask me, what the heck is a sebaceous gland? Um, more common than you would think. Sebaceous glands are essentially what keep your, I mean, they're found on your face mostly. Um, they're oil for your skin. Um, and they do this. So the whole, the whole cell breaks off and goes out. And so this, this red stuff would be the oil um, for your for moisturization moisturize so moisturizing the skin and the hair so that is holocrine and I want to stress holo and that I reference it to whole cell that looks atrocious whole cell um, and your example is a spitch screen. So, and then the last one is kind of, kind of like holocrine. We're gonna call it apocrine. Uh, is it ap yeah, it's apocrine. Apocrine gland. And so we're gonna use this same one. Oh, if I was really slick, I would be able to copy and paste. But anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with this, here's our product. Nice in that cell. But I'm going to have a zoomed in view of just one of them. So here's all my product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of like in Holocrine, let's go back up where the whole cell pinches off, as you can see right there. This part is just going to butt off right about here. This actually brings up a good topic. So this is the apical surface, and this is the basilar. Right, am I saying that? Ah, basilar, basilar, who knows? So this kind of breaks off this goes to a little I guess a little pinched pinched off particle so it's the apical surface that pinches off the basilar still stays there so and then just kind of redevelops so the basilar comes down here and it kind of just regrows and does its thing and now it can fill up again and call it good it doesn't replace the cell and an example of this would be mammary glands mammary glands so you might think oh that's weird baby drinks milk and they have some kind of cells in it um, our cell remains um, and also another one is Eh, you don't want to know about that. But basically, earwax. It's kind of gross. And that didn't draw, so whatever. But that's apocrine, and you can kind of think about it if I actually just saw that. Apocrine. Didn't even see that. Is the apical surface breaking off. So that's easy. That's kind of cool. I like that. So kind of the same shape this is a zoomed in if I could draw a magnifying glass a green magnifying glass that'd be cool and yeah, it doesn't do anyone any good um, zoomed in the apical surface pinches off and goes into the lumen and then out again and the 
basilar stays and regrows and regenerates. So those are the three of glandular secretion, or glandular ET, excuse me. And that is just a subgroup of epithelial tissue. This can't keep up with me right now. Who knows? Epithelial tissue. And I hope that was helpful. Once again, merocrine, just doing the cell. Holocrine, pinching off the whole cell. And apocrine is pinching off the apical surface. I hope that helped. Thanks.